The way I became a coach was I finished competing in 2016 and it kind of happened by accident to be honest. I missed out on the Olympics and I was sitting around playing PlayStation in my brother's apartment and after I missed out I went to judo because it was the only place I knew people. And uh, one of the girls at judo asked me, oh, can you help me train for the upcoming national championships? And I said, yes. I guess my main reason for being a coach today is I'm long gone a player. Uh, I enjoy getting on the mat and training with the kids, but giving back as a coach with all the knowledge that you've picked up over the years is a really satisfying thing. And so training from little guys five years old right through to elite athletes is probably the most gratifying thing you can do. So I, th I think the, the growth of judo is important and that, that's really helped me to continue as a coach, seeing the younger guys come through and grow. I finish my work day, sometimes I don't always have the best day at work but I you know, I have to go coach and it's a great leveller every time I get there, whether whatever sort of mood I'm in, I have to get my coaching head on and by the end of the night it's, I've had a great time. I guess one of the biggest difficulties in running a club is that people just think it's easy and it just happens and that people just walk in your door all the time. It took us a long time to develop numbers and now we have people regularly walking off the road but it's taken a long time and all you can suggest to people is just keep working and you start with a small number and if it's a family oriented club and you just make it about the family. We've been to weddings, engagements, 21st. It's really lovely to see them go from really little guys, five year olds up to, you know, we still have some people that are now 30, 35 years old. It's a great opportunity. I started, I started from the ground up, basically a couple of classes a week and just I had the passion and desire to make it happen and make it work and I learned things along the way. Um, so I sort of did it on my own but it's great now that Judo New South Wales is supporting instructors to develop their own clubs and, and help them in you know, planning, in marketing and progressing to a, a, a model that creates a business that people can earn an income from. If you want to get involved in judo and you know you've finished your career or whatever it is, you know we need coaches. We need coaches to get more kids involved in judo everywhere that we can, and and let the parents see what our sport has to give to them and what it will give their kids in resilience, dedication, having respect, all of those attributes that we want as parents for their kids. You'll find that in judo. Sometimes one of the hardest things is when somebody comes off and they've lost and the ability sometimes just to put your arms around someone and tell them that you understand. If you've been there, you know the work and everything, it's, it's really difficult for them and sometimes it's just a hug. I love helping people and I love people achieving their dreams and it's a really rewarding job in terms of seeing people grow as human beings and seeing them succeed. Uh, there's nothing better than that. It's really not about placing, it's about the whole build up to the competition and being here and soaking up the atmosphere. We're just really trying to get the guys to be in the moment and be happy while they're competing and to just take away all the experiences that they've got and then they can go and build on them for next year. I get a huge amount of satisfaction out of being a coach. I love to see success and people reach their full potential. Whether they reach their dreams or not, if they reach their potential and do the best they can, it's very satisfying for me. Particularly with the, the younger kids, obviously you see an improvement in them, not just their judo, but them as their, uh, their little personalities. And over a couple of years, it's such a, a big change in them. And you, you take a sense of pride that you're a role model for them and you know, someone that they look up to and you know, hopefully one day I can um, you know, make them a better judo car than what I was. My name is Clive Simmons. Hi, I'm Kerry. My name's Rob. Hi, I'm Kylie. My name is Ivica and I'm a New South Wales judo coach. 